Hello and welcome back to It's Apology Masters. In this video, I'll show you how you can massively improve your Booleans using a very nice technique. I'd like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this series of videos and helping produce more great content for you guys. If you want any Autodesk products, Studio Max, Maya, Fusion 360, please use the link in the description. All right, so we already know that splines are very useful for creating some nice shapes here. So what I'm gonna do is just start with a rectangle and just put it in the center and I'm just gonna apply edit spline. And so let's apply spline mirror as well. So this arrow is telling us which direction it's going to mirror from. So if the arrow is on the right, it's going to mirror from right to left. Let's say we want to go from left to right. We're going to flip that. All right. Make sure you got shown result on. And then as you create line, it'll be showing up on both sides. All right. Now I've got this. I'm going to press one to go into vertex level. Select this fillet, which I've set to F. I get a nice filler going here. All right, at this point, I can just delete this since this was just a starting point. All right, and then I'm gonna create a line again. Actually, let me select this and then do an outline on this. You can see we use outline though, especially it has a habit of kind of folding in on itself, especially our filleted vertices. So what I can do instead is scale while holding down shift to create a copy of this. Now I've got this. So this is just a very nice method of creating some very creative shapes very quickly. And then let's also create something more in the center here. All right, now I'm going to use trim And let's weld. And we can also fillet this. And maybe do small fillets on this as well. All right, so now I've got this kind of shape and we can extrude this. So the first step to getting a nice bullet is to start with a nice space object and get a little bit more creative here. Not just regular boxes, spheres, cylinders, but splines. All right, so. It looks interesting from the top, but from all of the angles, it looks pretty boring here. This is where the next step comes in handy. We're going to once again create a line, but this time we're going to activate Auto Grid, which allows us to create on the surface. And this is really the nice step to getting much more advanced booleans is to start with this. And so what this will do is it will actually, no matter how many times we click, it's going to stay on that original surface. All right, so I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna quickly close this up here. Press one right away to switch to the modify tab and then use go into vertex. And so now we can fill it this. All right, let's also spline mirror. I'm going to go into mirror and press shift A. So it's the same position as this object. All right, I'm gonna move it a little bit forward just to make sure it's not inwards a little bit. I'm going to extrude. We're going to select this object, Pro Boolean, let's say instance. We can start with that and pick this. So I can just move this out to the side here. And so now, not only does this object look good from the top, but from the front, it's looking more interesting as well. And we can select this and switch this, select our first separation, switch to intersection, change operation, and now it's intersecting. To make this more interesting, you can see right now this detail is just going straight forward. So let's introduce an angle to this. Let's apply add a poly on top of this, select some vertices, and we can now, for example, scale apart. And then notice how it affects our pro boolean here because it's instanced. We can scale together to get this. We can move it down or up to get this happening. Now, for example, it's just bullying the front here, which can produce some very nice results.
we can for example insert a loop through here then we can select this and move it down now we've got this happening here and then we can chamfer this and so now we will have this kind of curve happening here So now we have the key to getting much more interesting shapes and much more interesting booleans as well. Look at these nice transitions happening here. Very nice slick cuts happening here. All right, let's do that again with a different part here. this being subtracted and we can apply it a poly and we can further work with this of course we don't have to apply it a poly we can go back to line and simply move the vertices at this level as you can see we have those results happening in real time at the bottom so just kind of keep moving this until you get a really nice result <music> So after the extrude, add a poly, and we can then, for example, scale this to get some really nice slick booleans happening here. Scale the top as well. This one, I would just do a copy. Now I've got this happening, all from just using splines. Let's also union some together as well. So I'm going to create a nice union, let's say right here. If you want to align vertices here, simply press S and all D for axis constraints and then use the correct axis and you can align them like so. Alright, so on any surface, you can create more detail by just... They'll just have to be from a planar surface, those have to be from the top or the side or the front, but really any surface right here, for example, right here, I can start to create... So now I have the interesting boolean happening right here and we can easily reuse it just by moving it and rotating it. So any parts that need additional detail, you can use this on. So 
So as you can see, we're left with this very small surface here. It's in this situation, I probably don't want this. So I probably want it to move it higher. So for example, right here, this will be more difficult to reach a polish. I just want to get rid of these little slivers here. So actually what I would do is just use instance. And that'll make it easier just to adjust it on the spot. So now I can simply control it, just let everything just kind of rotate it. There we go. This is a much easier to reach the project surface right here. So you can see how we're able to quickly get these interesting cuts just by using splines. All right, so we can keep going with this, just adding all sorts of details from all sorts of angles. Once we've got that, it's time to read to apologize. So first I'll just symmetry and delete the right half. So we will have to solve some Sweden group issues. You can see, for example, right here, these don't belong to any Sweden group. So we may want to just quickly apply smooth, auto smooth, and just change this value until all the Sweden groups look correct. For example, right here, we may need to lower this. There we go and quickly fix up someone's manually by just selecting this, say 25, all right. Now this is looking like we just need to select this, all right. And so right here, this, all right, so this needs to be the same Sweden group. We'll give this 15, all right. So now the Sweden groups look correct. This right here is not a Sweden group issue, this is just the normals, you can see this is all the same Sweden group, that's the important thing. So it may look like all these polygons belong to separate Sweden groups, but that's just a smoothing issue. And so that will not affect the retopology. Alright, subdivide. And then retopology. I will once again increase regularize and decrease an isotropy and adaptivity. The default 5000 may be too little. Let's go with maybe 15,000. So this is how you can use splines to cut away from any angle. Just draw them on the surface and you can get much more interesting results this way and get more interesting booleans from all angles. Thank you for watching and take care.